Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use Azure Data Studio to connect and query Azure SQL database. We have a SQL database up and running and now we will use Azure Data Studio to connect to it and query it. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and this is my SQL Azure SQL database. And now just uh, to start with it, we will need Azure Data Studio. So the first prerequisite would be to install Azure Data Studio. I can do that by going on to Google, install Azure Data Studio, download and install Azure Studio Data Studio for Windows. If you have a Mac or Linux, you can do it. is downloading here all right let me pause and come back all right i'm gonna launch the setup of azure studio i accept the agreement okay i'm gonna go with the default let's create a desktop icon and install it it's going to install the azure data studio under c users ashish my app data local program folder it's going to take few seconds and uh, the next prerequisite is that you have a db SQL database created. So if you deleted the previous one, please create a new one using portal, CLI or uh, PowerShell. And then we'll use Azure Data Studio to establish a connection to the Azure SQL database server. It seems that it is done. I hope it does not ask for a restart of my virtual, sorry, of my laptop. Okay, it's asking to launch. It will launch. Let's see. Okay, it is launching now. Okay, welcome to Azure Data Studio. I'm gonna cancel, cancel this for now. Okay, now when you click on here, you see these options, new connection. Click on it. Microsoft SQL Server, your uh, server name is this paste it here okay you are going to use uh, sql login and your pa username and the password default default let's see what our advanced options are Okay. Discard and then click on connect. It is trying to connect. Let's see what happens. It seems it's working. Okay, I'm connected. Let me maximize it. Here it is. Your uh, this is the database click on it and these are the tables on it right so if you want to write a new query you can click on here and you can run a query here let's run that query again using azure using azure data studio i pasted the query here click on run here you got the result here And you can click on here, click on home here. Go back to your server.
and in here I'm trying to create a new database with the name tutorial DB onto the same server. Let me see if this works. Okay, started executing the query. Let's see how that will work. And the notifications will appear in the messages then showing the query progress. So it still it is only started. Now let's see what happens next. You know it says that the command completed successfully. It took a more just one second more than a minute. So if I go here, I refresh it, I see tutorial database here, I go on to here, it's empty. Now if I want to create a table in the tutorial database, So this this is connected to uh, if you go back here here click on here and when it comes to the when it's connected to the tutorial database now click on new query and now we'll paste the query to create a table here it is this is creating a customer's table now click on run you can see the progress in the messages pane it is done go back here refresh you see the customers table here in on the tutorial database now if you want to insert rows into the table right you go to this one and paste the new query You can select the drop down from here as well. So make sure you are connected to the correct table, correct database. I'm sorry. Go here, refresh. Here, you see a table. Now, if you want to view the result, go back to your query paste run this is your coming from the new database that you created right so this is how you connect and query and administer the database using azure data studio so uh, i hope this session was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day Bye bye